Today we are going to see uh, what are the different kinds of interview questions in uh, UI table view, right? So now I will write the questions, then we will see how to answer those. First one is how the data can be organized using table view, right? how data can be organized using table view right we'll change the font size then Attack data source methods. Then third one attack delegate methods. Fourth one. What is the use of user interface? So if you take any table view, table view is organized data in the form of sections and rows, correct? Each section may contain many number of rows, correct? So uh, it is depend upon the requirement whether we have to create uh, table view with two, three sections or only one section with many number of rows, right? So finally, we can say table view can be organized data in the form of sections and rows. It may by default it contains one section. If you want to provide a many number of section, that is possible. We can provide many number of section. Again, different number of rows for different number of sections. So we can say table view data can be organized in the form of sections and rows. Then we can ask what is data source. Data source, that means table view is only a view. It does not know what it has to display. Through the data source method, we will provide the data to the table view so that it can display on the view right so here in the data source method we have two mandatory methods one is number of rows in section one more is cell for row in the path right in number of rows in section you need to provide how many number of rows you want for that section in cell for row index path we have to create a cell and we need to return this cell to the table view then table view will display this cell onto the table right so this is about the data source methods, right? So then we can ask what are the delegate methods, right? Generally, if you want to do any action, for example, if we select the cell, then we have to go to the some other screen or we have to remove that cell. So whenever you do this kind of operations, delegate methods are going to be called. Those uh, that is did select over the next path. There are many delegate methods. I am telling one example. Instead of that, we can write a code which will move to the somewhere screen. Right? Using delegate methods, we can handle the what user events on the table. Right? This is about the delegate method. Then we can say what is a reuse identifier. Generally, we will provide a some string uh, as a reuse identifier. Right? For example, uh, consider the default cell height is 44 pixel, or you, you may provide the your cell height is a row height. I can say. Cell height and row height is both are same. I can say 100. So based on the, your screen height, your device height, we can have 6 rows, 7 rows, or 4 rows, 3 rows. Right? So now, for example, I want to display number of books information or number of students information in the table view. Then students may be a thousand, number of books may be a thousand. Right? So, but at a time I can display only 5 or 6 rows. Right? So if I scroll up, new cell is going to become, first cell is going to be hidden. Again I scroll somewhat, again one more new cell is going to come, then top cell is going to be hidden, right? So every time only some number of cells are only visible, 
right so to display the six number or minimum number of cells on the table u we should not create many number of cells we have to maintain only limited for example you can display at a time six then only create seven no need to create a thousand if you want to display thousand right for example if i scroll table u i can display thousand also by scrolling but i don't want to create a thousand objects i don't want to create them i want to create only seven or six whenever one one cell is going to be hidden one cell is going to be hidden uh, new cell is going to become now what i need to do i need to verify whether the cell is contain the same identifier that i need to display newly if the both are same then reuse that cell only update the data instead of creating the new object change that data in the object in that way we can reuse the cell identifier this is very very important question right so now i will show you the table view then you can easily understand so go to the students there are some project called table view example we have already done this table view right so for example take the simple table now you observe here in the cell for row in this path we are providing what reuse identifier as a reuse id here what we are doing here before creating the cell object before creating the cell object what we are checking we are trying to reuse the cell by calling dq reusable cell with identifier and we are providing cell id this one so if the cell, what it will do it will search in the memory it will search in the memory is there any cell with this identifier that is not available on the screen then it will return that cell if the cell is available for reuse that means cell is not equal to nil then no need to create just update the data right so if cell is nil that means cell is not available for reuse then create the cell and while creation of the cell provide the reuse identifier right so this is the way to reuse the cell for example i will run and show you this if this is executing that means we are creating the cell if this is executing we are not creating the cell we are reusing the cell by using dq reusable cell with identifier what this method do it will search in the memory using this identifier if it is find any cell with this identifier which is not available in the table view then it will return the object for that cell after that we are checking equal to equal to nil then only create otherwise don't create the cell only update the data right then finally return the cell so now i will show you practically that also many number of people unable to answer this question we have taken the interviews for many number of people but some people able are able to answer this question but 50% of the people are not knowing this but they are doing the things then they they don't know what is happening behind the scene that is a problem right so now you observe here observe here so cell is created right if you, this is a table view cell is created every time cell is created here. now you scroll up now cell is getting reused cell is why because some cells are hidden same cell is going to be reusable for example prasad is there before to prasad what is there durga is there right now if i scroll up what will happen durga is going to be reused and the instead of durga d is going to come now prasad is going to be reused instead of prasad e is going to become that means cell object is there but only the data on the cell is going to be changed that means we are not going to create the cell see cell is not cell is reused cell is reused only how many cells are created only five cells are created right every time what we are doing we are trying to reuse the cell by calling the dq reusable cell with identifier dq what it will do it will try to see is there any cell which is hidden and it contains the identifier this if it is finds that cell it will return the cell if the cell is there we are not going to create the cell right we are just changing the data on the cell 
so if this is executing means cell is getting reused if you this this statement is getting executed means cell is going to be created so first time only the cells are going to be created if you scroll up or scroll down every time cells are going to be reused that means only five cells are there if you have thousand number of cells that you want to display only limited number of cells are going to be created each time cell is going to be reused and a new data is going to be updated this way in this way we can reduce the uh, memory usage so that your application performance will be the good right so this kind of questions can be asked on the table view definitely you will be you need to answer this question right so thank you